Hello and welcome to Tech 18. I am Muhammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about the difference between data flow, data mart and data set. So recently the data mart introduced from Microsoft and it has created a lot of confusion among the users that what are the difference between these three and in which scenario we need to use what. So we'll discuss about that in this video. Before going into that, if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. I recommend you to watch this video till the end because there are lots of things which you need to understand in order to uh, see the difference between these three. So first of all, we'll discuss about the data set. So in, data set is included in Power BI Pro license as well as premium per capacity and premium per user. A data set is a collection of data that you import or connect to direct query. And Power BI lets you connect to and import all sort of data sets and bring all of it together in one single place. Data set can also source data from data flows and data marts. I repeat again, data set can also source data from data flows and data marts. And in one single data set, we can used over and over in one or in many workspaces and it can be used in many different reports. Visualization from that one data set can be displayed on many different dashboards. So this is about data set. Now let's in look into this data flow. Data flows included with Power BI Pro and Premium per user and premium per capacity and it is 100% web based, no other software required to build a data flow. And you can create reusable transformation logics that can be shared by many data sets and reports inside Power BI. Expose the data in your own Azure Data Lake Gen2 storage and the format of the data stored in that is common data model, which is CDM format. We can connect data flow with other Azure services and products in Power Platform like Power Apps. We can connect the data from data flow. And if you want to work with the lost data volumes and perform ETL at scale, data flow with Power BI Premium scales more efficiently and gives you more flexibility. We can prevent analysts from having direct access to the underlying data source. This approach reduces the load to the underlying system and use administrators final control of when the system gets loaded from refreshes. So we can just give them access to the data flow so that we can secure our main data source itself. Now let's have a look into the data mart. Data mart included in Power BI premium capacity and premium per user. So this is not available for a pro users. Self-service users can easily perform relational database analytics without the need for a database administrator or developer. So they can build data mart by themselves. Data mart provides end-to-end data ingestion, data preparation and data exploration with SQL, including no code experience. So they have visual interface which you can build uh, all these kind of operations. Enables building semantic models and reports within one holistic experience, all backed by SQL database. So Data Mart is backed by SQL database. So there are other features in Data Mart, which is 100% web-based, no other software required, and a no-code experience resulting in a fully managed Data Mart, and automated performance tuning, and also we can add role-level security inside to that. You can perform ad hoc analysis and create reports all on the web, and it supports for SQL and other popular client tools. We can connect Data Mart in our SSMS SQL Server Management Studio. And need to integration with Power BI, Microsoft Office, and other Microsoft Analytics offerings. So now let's understand the backend and the usage of it. So now you may have a little bit understanding about these things, right? So we'll just figure out in a visual representative of these three differences. So this is an icon of logo of Dataflow and Dataflow is backed by Azure Data Lake Gen2 storage whereas the Data Mart, this is backed by a SQL database. 
right now we have a data set so this one is a data flow and this is the data mart and the below one is the data set so we can create data set connecting from data flow or also from a data set data mart if you are creating a data mart by default it will create a data set to build the reports so you are not able to create directly report connecting to a data mart but if even though if you create a data mart power bi will automatically create a data set and based on the data set you need to refresh i mean you need to build your reports on top of that so what about this data set so the data set you can use it in your power bi and the data flow you can not only create a data set out of it but you can also use in other services like power platform so in power platform you can make use of this in there are power apps for an example so this is a holistic picture of this one the data flow is backed by adsl and it can be used in power platform like power apps are also in data set and build a power bi report on top of that whereas the data mart is backed by sql and from that we can create a power bi data set and then we can build a report on top of that so these are the main difference between these three things i hope you got a clear understanding about the difference between a data flow data mart and data set in power bi if you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure you turn on the notification on your devices share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback just post it on the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video